Good morning. A little bit of breathing. Um, it is crazy how much the correct breathing will change our chemistry, which then changes, of course, how we feel. How simple it is. It's free. And all you need to do is remember how to do it. Now, I've been banging on about the 478 breath, and we're just going to do that right now. And then I'm going to show you the Wim Hof breathing that I do every morning on the beach before I get into the water. You can practice these things yourself. You're teaching the body a new trick. You're teaching the body to calm down, slow down, get your heart and brain into coherence, change the chemistry, change the chemicals that the pineal and the pituitary gland are putting out. And you're teaching the body how to be calm, how to be at peace. So four, seven, eight, breathe in for four, hold for seven, breathe out for eight with your tongue behind your teeth like this. Okay, so we'll do it together. Breathe in, hold, and out, and in. Hold and out and in. Hold and out and in. Hold and out. Okay, four rounds of that, morning and night, every single day. And you're teaching, you're setting in a new subconscious program for breathing out more than you're breathing in. Most of us are breathing in a lot more than we're breathing out. And that starts to put us into the fight or flight. So we're using the breath to take us out of the fight or flight and into the rest and restore mode. If you are sick or if you're suffering from anxiety, then it is really important you, you learn how to take yourself from fight or flight into rest and repair. Practice that breath. Anytime you feel yourself getting anxious, just remember four, seven, eight breath. That's all you need to do now is remember. Now let's go on to Wim Hof. So what you do is you hyperventilate. It's a bit like blowing up a balloon. So it's... <sighs> That's the breath you're looking for. You do up to round about 30 and still, until you actually start to feel lightheaded, you will feel lightheaded. That's what you're meant to do. You're starting to pump the body full of oxygen. So 30 breaths like that. And then at the end, you breathe out and you hold the out breath for as long as you can. And you'll find after the third set, you'll be able to hold your out breath much longer. And then you breathe in. And you hold the in-breath for up to 15 seconds or more. And then you breathe out again. And then you follow that cycle between three and five times. But if you're just learning, then you want to do this only three times. Now, this is a brilliant lead into any meditation you've got. Now, whether you meditate for five minutes or one hour, five minutes or two hours, five minutes, it's irrelevant. It just really helps the body again go into this kind of calm state. Because if you try to meditate when you're in fight or flight, you could be fighting a very losing battle and making yourself more stressed. So it's really good to use the breathing to really calm yourself down, get the heart and brain into coherence, and then go into your meditation or your visualization, whatever it is that you do to really start taking your mind in the direction that you want to go, the best case scenario. So here we go with the Wim Hof breath. Are you ready? And breathing out and hold the out breath. And 
and then breathe in and hold it. And out. Okay, and you repeat that another twice. So don't get too caught up in the timings. Whether you breathe in through your nose or your mouth is irrelevant when you're starting off. Just do what you can. Sometimes if you breathe in through your mouth, you, your mouth gets dry. Sometimes if you breathe in through your nose, then your nose gets um, sore. So just do what you can. Okay.